tonight from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. and the Houston Texans taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. It is a beautiful night here in Southeast Texas and the roof is open at NRG Stadium in Houston. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Miami Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. First look at the Cowboys' offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. You hear so many discussions about Dak Prescott. Is he one of the top quarterbacks in the league? Is he still ascending? What does he need to do to get there? All I know is that when he's in control of the Dallas offense, they were number one in the league last year in terms of yards per play, and he was second in the league in passing yards with over 4,900. This guy gets it done, and his team really likes him as their leader. A first down throw for Prescott. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure, but it falls incomplete, and it's second down. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. Prescott from the gun, throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for, and it's third down. Yeah, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Connects here with the tight end, Blake Jarwin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. First down, Dallas. Prescott on first down. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And all this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. Third down. Prescott from the gun on third. This to Jarwin. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 38-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. First down carry by Elliott. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 38 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. A nice run by him, don't get me wrong, but the blocking up front was a thing of beauty. I think for an opening drive, how about that for an exclamation point? Just what you said, good blocking, good vision, and he accelerated to the end zone. Greg now Greg Zerline, Zerline on for the extra point. Here. 
And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Texans offense going to go to work, and it is Deshaun Watson at quarterback. When we talk about the best dual quarterbacks in the NFL, don't leave Deshaun Watson out of the conversation. Two straight years, he's been a pro bowler. Excellent numbers again last season with 26 touchdown passes, seven more added on the ground, and firm leadership and control of his Houston Texans team. Now he's looking forward to taking the next step and beating Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson in the playoffs and getting the Houston Texans to a Super Bowl. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10 at the 26-yard line. Watson to give. This is Johnson. Duke Johnson, the ball decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Out of the gun, Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Well, he's certainly trying to earn his way into some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Running from the gun, Johnson. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense can go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. The first down carry here for Johnson. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. The ball carrier. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of apology on that one, huh? And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. The tackle made by and that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Finding fouls complete, and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Let's hope it's not anything that will keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. To throw is Watson, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The ball carrier. Tackle made there by Chidabe Awuzie. On the tackle. Eight yards to go on second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. 11 yard line. Now the backup, A.J. McCarron. That is caught at the seven yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a gain of five. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. From the gun, it's McCarron. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Randall Cobb there to make the grab. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Play is under review. 
And a pause of the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. for the extra point. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Miami Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now this one complete on the slam round. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. A gain of 12. First down, Calvary. First and 10. Quick slant to Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. A first down carry now for Miller. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. He's second and four. 37 yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Got a man, it's Brown. Dalton's and he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of seven. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll run it from the gun with Miller. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Brings up second and eight at the 28-yard line. Dalton with a quick throw out wide. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. We've hit the two minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this week. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. J.J. Watt, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Dalton's that was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need ten yards out of it on third. Man open left side is Brown, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown, and the Cowboys have taken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Now to return. This is David Johnson. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more 
He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked by Darian Thompson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own eight yard line. There, D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? He'll get that to devalve the tight end. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No, not at all. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. On the return, Carter. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. Houston set to take over. And this is a spot late in the clock near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. And this should be a position now where the great ones they relish this opportunity to try to put points on the board. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Get the ball. Now it's McCarron off play action. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Brings up a third down. And now here's McCarron on third. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And they'll go play action with McCarron. That is caught inside the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. So we are halfway through here in the final week of the preseason. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. One more half of preseason football to go. And then all eyes will look ahead to one week from tonight the annual NFL kickoff game, and that promises to be a dandy. In our game, the starters are long gone, but still some intrigue to see guys trying to make a late roster push as we get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Returning it, Johnson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. 
Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Here we go on fourth down with McCarron. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, they've got the slim deficit, decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But, boy, deep in their own territory like that? Let's just say that with that call, me and the head coach, We'll agree to disagree, right? But he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. So I guarantee he told his defensive coordinator, have your guys up and ready. I'm going to go for it here. If we don't get it, just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run on first down. Miller, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Taken down at the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second down now, it's Miller. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. All you got to do is middle score. A pick six for the Texans TD. Touchdown. For Andy Dalton last year in Cincinnati, he threw three of these, second only to Jameis Winston, seven. And he'll be bitten again with the interception and six points the other way. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all not up at 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Miami Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they have a decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive. And they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. They told, him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. It's second and eight. From the 27, Dalton. This will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Cowboy, first down. On first down, Miller refusing to go down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Don't not play action. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Set the valve. 52 yards. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. And you know, you and I praise tight ends in today's game a lot for being just like a bigger body wide receiver. 
Boy, a play that, that long from that position, you just didn't used to see that as much. No, you were really just counting on the tight end position to catch the football and get what they got on the catch. And now it's the run after the catch. It makes them so dangerous. Hard to bring those big guys down when they get rolling. Couldn't bring him down here. Got into the end zone. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carter. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. They'll run on first down. Johnson. Number Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup, and that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight, McCarron. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. Pass incomplete. Jordan Thomas, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. The Texans on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and eight. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. McCarron and company going for it on fourth. For a left side complete, it's Carter. And he's got this down to the 35. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, and now it's first and 10. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Yeah, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. At their own 31-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, 
Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. He's only needing two yards on second down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Third and two for Dalton. And that's caught by Smith. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Cowboys. Andy Dalton with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. At their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Here's second and 10. At the 25 yard line. Shotgun snap for McCarran. And this one incomplete. McCarran Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Working from the gun here, McCarron. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Incomplete. It's fourth down. McCarron to throw for it on four. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that is incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. A gutsy decision there at this stage of the second half in their own territory and a decision that they might regret. I can't wait for the postmortem. You know, this postgame press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why did you have a certain play call? A blitz coming and down he goes. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? He's got the hookup to Miller. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, let a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender... You go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Their own 25-yard line. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A.J. McCarron looking to throw. 
And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Don Terry Poe marches in for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Incomplete. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. Polluted the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. Karen on the keeper. Intended for DeAndre Carter. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game has been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now McCarron. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And the Cowboys are able to recover. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. A one-yard loss brings up second and 16 at the 43-yard line. Dalton down to a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. Dalton on the club. Well, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation, taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same, but if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end, even better. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And I tell you, this was a fun one, just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal. Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.